episode three of the Sham Talk podcast, along with JJ Post. I'm Jacob Irons. JJ, how are you doing today, good sir? Not too bad. Just enjoying the week, enjoying the countdown Notre Dame football under 40 days now and getting closer every day. Every day it starts to get closer, but let's take a look away from the gridiron here a little bit and let's talk a little Notre Dame men's basketball with the new addition of Mike Shrewsbury at the end of last year with Mike Bray stepping away. Get a big transfer and Tay Davis from Seton Hall. That, although he's a young guy that didn't have that much playing experience for the Pirates, he brings a new youthful energy to him. Yeah, I mean, the, the counting stats don't pop off the page. You know, I, I, no, I don't have them in front of me. I think they look around like, you know, three points a game, a couple rebounds, you know, nothing that you're going to look at and think like, this is a big time addition. But I do think it kind of speaks to the, the character of Shrewsbury's rebuild. The idea that, one, this is a guy who's already young, you know, even for a freshman, he's young for a freshman. So he has multiple years of eligibility and presumably multiple years of development left to come. And that's the kind of transfer that, you know, Notre Dame has been targeting. They've wanted players that have, you know, two, three years of eligibility to learn the system, to learn, you know, what Shrewsbury wants to do. This is not a team that is going to, you know, enter the, as much as, you know, we want them to win, but I don't think the expectation for this team heading into the season is going to be to make the tournament to even win, you know, I don't know, 15 conference games. You know, the, the, the goal for this team is to get better. And that might come in the form of 10 games. That might come form of 20 games. Who knows? But it's definitely not going to be, be a team that on paper looks like it's going to win. It is going to be a team, however, you know, like we said, that is going to be young, that is going to develop, and that is going to have, I think, tools is the best way to put it. You know, you look at Shrewsbury's additions. A lot of these players are guys – who have, you know, they have tools in the sense that, you know, they have not fully emerged on the court yet as stars, but they have the things that make you think they could be like high impact players. Tay Davis, you know, kind of being a good example of this, you know, he's got size, he's got a lengthiness about him that, you know, makes you think he could probably be a bigger small forward than, you know, most of the players in that range. He's six foot seven and he's got bounce. He can attack the rim, you know? So I think these are the the type of players that Shrewsbury's going to want to add where, He's spoken at length about not wanting to have any one system, but rather a system that fits his players. And I think kind of when you go that route of having a, a, a system that gets molded around who you have on your roster, that means you want to have a lot of versatile pieces. Davis, someone who can play both small forward and power forward, someone who has shown a willingness to kind of attack the rim, a willingness to, you know, be bouncy, to be an impact player, you know, in the, on the court. That's the type of player shoes we're looking for, someone who, you know, might not be a finished product yet, but is going to be getting better every game and someone who can look at in multiple ways and see where he fits best before he finds his final landing spot on Shrewsbury's rotation. 